Checkpoint R7730, clustering, R3, open my checkpoint cluster configuration lab. So here's the diagram. We have checkpoint management server, two checkpoint cluster server. And let's take a look at the virtual machine settings. There's three network cards. Internet, DMD, and the internal. Um, let's uh, browse to virtual machine's uh, web interface. So it's gonna log in with uh, admin admin. And uh, then log into a second uh, cluster member, admin admin. So it's gonna launch our first time configuration feature. So diagram again. So we just follow the next next steps, go through the management first time configuration meter. So on Ethernet 1, we can uh, change the host and then name at such a point. As I'm saying, 30 1, next is uh, class number 1. Um, this one is a security gateway on a class member. Uh, we just uh, define the activation key, whatever we write, just mem memorize it. Same thing on uh, cluster member 2. <coughs> We're gonna configure in the uh, Ethernet interface. So we name it as uh, checkpoint R7730-2. Uh, and uh, we just it's only security gateway and it's a part of the cluster. And we'll put the activation key in. That's pretty much the uh, first time it's a configuration for our cluster members. Um, it's gonna take a couple of minutes to get it done. The whole video has been speed up or at times, so you will see the process is much faster than in the real environment. So the when you see the Mac Mini, the whole CPU utilization is reasonable. They can handle in three virtual machines without problem. So the first time it's finished, it's gonna be restarted. You can see the whole restarting process on the virtual machine. Cluster member one. Cluster member 2 is still finalizing the configuration. Another 2-3 minutes should be able to get it done. Okay, it's finished it, it's reported. At the same time, the cast member one is still starting. Cast member two also starting. You can log into class member one and finish the reporting. Just checking the Ethernet interface. You can enable the Ethernet zero interface. We put the IP in. So we have Ethernet zero and Ethernet one.
Gateway, Total Internet, so 192.168.2.1. DNS is 8.8.8. We can verify the internet connection. We can pin the gateway. We can pin the Google DNS IP 8.8.8.8. So all connections are fine. Class number two has finished the rebooting. So we can do the same thing. We can fit, enable Ethernet zero interface and put the IP in 192.168.2.12. Network mask 255.255.255.0. You can change the default gateway from 10.94.2.1 change to 192.168.2.1. Which is give us access to the internet. Now we launch the smart dashboard. We're gonna import those two class member into the, our smart management server. We're going to create a checkpoint security cluster. Choosing wizard mode, we put the cluster name as a checkpoint dash R77 to 30 cluster IPv4 mode, internal IP tender at port 100 to 10. And then we add the cluster member 1 IP and the activation key. As long as they can build a trust connection, then we can import it. Same thing on the cluster member 2, name IPv4 address, activation key, so they can check IPv4 address and then build the trust connection. The next step is uh, creating a network. So first we're creating a, we can have a multiple options, we can create in a cluster interface, that's for internal interface. can create in an uh, uh, external interface, 192.168.2 interface. And also we need to create in a sync interface to make sure the class member between the class member, they can sync each other. So that's a uh, warning message telling us. So here, now we're creating a sync interface on Ethernet 2. Call it uh, sync. So we just put IP 1.1.1.1 and 1.1.2 or 1.1.1.1. Then we whatever. Make sure they can talk each other. So just verify they have connection and it's creating a cluster synchronization interface and creating a cluster interface. One for internal, one for external. Then that's it. Then we can enable the security features on the cluster. Just make sure all connection or configurations like it's matching each other. Topology, IP, and this spoofing those settings are matching your requirement. So now we are creating a policy. So we build our well, we build our first policy allow any any and uh, enable check login and then push the policy 
ทูลาครอสเตอร์ตั้มดูสุขสัตว์สูงอืมนั่นคือการดูสินัสมาร์ทวิวเช็คตัวดีไฟล์เทรฟฟิกก็ basically we have a couple task task one we install checkpoint menu server then we install checkpoint seven seven to thirty now we are doing the task three which is this video we are creating a cluster object in the management server and then push the policy to it so you can see there's a lot of traffic in the smart view checker that's it.